Okay, team, so I want to show you how to use the Tesla bot to place trades and semi-automate the 10 EMA strategy by real life trading. So some of you may know how that strategy works, and I'm going to give you an example of how it works now. And so for a bullish example, meaning we are going to buy and hope the price action goes higher, we are looking for something like this, which are white candles closing above the 10 EMA, something like this. And if you look at both of these candles are closing above the 10 EMA. So what our strategy would dictate is a buy, like a stop limit buy, or a buy stop limit there with a stop down here. So our risk is fixed. Maybe that's a dollar of movement and we're looking for at least a dollar 20 of movement back up to here. So we're risking a dollar to get a dollar 20. So even with if we win 50% of the time, lose 50% of the time, regardless, we're still profitable, which is pretty cool. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for our candles, our setup to come in. Any, If you're playing gaps and you know much about stock gaps, any type of a gap that, that gaps up and then immediately sells off and closes that gap, any type of bias from that gap in my mind is kind of neutral, right? So I was a little bullish, now I'm more neutral. Doesn't mean it won't change in a minute, but that's kind of where I am. Like the bias of someone being trapped is now negated, right? So you would say that this gap has been filled and the gap is now retesting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this just a little bit. I think uh, it's gonna a little bit slow. And what I'm looking for is a white candle closing above the 10 EMA. You're like, well, Matt, this second, first and second candle are actually closing above the 10 EMA, which is correct. However, I uh, I don't like price action to have to make an all time high on the day in order to uh, to make money, right? So I don't I don't want to get in right here with a stop down here and have to go, the price action has to go way up here. I don't I don't like that, I don't prefer that. Uh, seven out of 10 times, that just won't work. It will work sometimes, but more times than not, it doesn't work like that. So um, what I'm waiting for again, is a white candle closing above. So speed this up just a little bit more. Ooh, slow down. Okay, here we go. So we're getting back above the 10 EMA here. So you guys can see price action is here, right here on this candle. The 10 EMA is here, and it's finally sloping up. So it's that's a good, uh, good sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm waiting for the 10 EMA. I'm sorry, waiting for that white candle to close, like a bullish candle, meaning a little bit of pullback first, and close above. And then I will be taking action and jumping into the trade uh, as soon as it as soon as it's sold off and done its thing. We might sell off just a little bit here, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I do like candles once they touch uh, a bullish candle, kind of touching that 10 EMA right there. So that was that's my preference. Yeah. I think it's gonna sell a little bit more, sell off a little bit here. Yep. So technically this is a bullish can a bearish candle closing below. I want something a little bit lower, maybe here or here, touching that 10 EMA so that I can uh so what I'm looking for is if if the bulls are so the price action, if I'm bullish, the price action went lower and the bears are frustrated, I want to know that the price action tried to go lower and then kind of just failed, right? That's kind of what I'm looking for. Price action went lower and then failed. So I think we're getting close here. As long as we can close and stay above the 10 EMA, we have not yet closed, but it looks like we're close. What is going to happen? Please don't go higher. Go lower. Stay right there. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw out my order. Should get filled, boom, there we go. I'm now in the trade. We'll see what happens, see if it goes higher, see if it goes lower. And what I do is you'll see the the order itself, I'm up 100, 100 bucks, and you'll see this represents my entry. This is my stop loss and this is my 
1.2 R target. In this case, we are running this on a $100,000 account, a $100,000 paper trading account. I am able to do this in pretty much any size account. If I do a $5,000, 500K account, I'm able to do that uh, in a bigger account as well. So um, your risk is determined by the size of your account. So here we go. Almost, almost. It's going to hang out. It's going to speed it up. There we go. And so just to recap, we got in right here, bullet, uh, sorry, right here, bullish. The break above this white candle right here. And we exited right there at a 1.2 R, uh, 1.2 R win. And so if I was to look at my trade history right here, You'll see that I had a $1,200 win, a.k.a. 1.2 R win, again, on just, just clicking a button. And th that is the 10 EMA bot, I'm sorry, the 10 EMA strategy using Tesla bot on a bullish trade. And give me one second and we will get a bearish example queued up as well. Okay, there we go. So I am playing this candle right here. Uh, this oops sorry this candle right here we're working for a break to go lower so i have a sell limit order set up i am not yet filled but i'm about to get filled on that and we're waiting for a kind of a rollover and a, a move lower on tesla And I'm not yet in the trade. I'm, I'm close. A few pennies away. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. There we go. I'm now in the trade. I'm now short. And technically, it should have been this candle right here. Technically, so I should have shorted a little bit lower. But what we're waiting for is now is this kind of a rollover and a move lower. Uh, we have bounced off this level a few times, which tells me that uh, once we get past this level, that it should be smooth sailing. But we'll find out. We'll see what happens. So again, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and uh, just for the sake of time, and we'll see what happens here. You guys are able to watch the PL live right there as we are bouncing around, making more. Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, that was quick. So, three candles quick in and out. You'll see right here, I had two trades. One was bullish to get in, and we we're going to sell to get out. The other one, we sold to get in and bought to get out. Two different wins in my example 1.2 hour risk using a 100K account. This stuff is not hard, it does require some practice. And again, the Tesla bot here, you can trade bullish and bearish. It does auto calculate the size for you. And there are a few settings you can adjust for your profit targets and how much padding you want in your stop loss. So that is all I have for you. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.